Tonight, a huge tornado churning across New Orleans. There you can see a very large tornado. Uh, now we've got the power flashes. Get to your safe place right now. The twister striking the Lower Ninth Ward and parts of St. Bernard Parish. Damage unknown at this oh hour. God. It's part of a deadly tornado outbreak, devastating parts of the state. Twisters tearing across roadways and ripping off roofs. In New Iberia, police confirming two tornadoes touched down. Authorities there helping people trapped inside debris. We do have several units from several agencies on scene. They are rescuing people who are trapped. More than 7,000 homes losing power. Others no longer standing. Authorities say at least three people are dead, including an eight-year-old boy. That whole trailer park gone. In Keithville, families are now left picking up the pieces. The governor telling NBC he's investigating whether mobile alerts went out to this rural neighborhood. I know we're in a rural area here. Do we know if these folks got any kind of warning ahead of this storm? Yeah, well, I'm trying to figure that out. Quite frankly, this is an area that is so rural, the cell phone coverage is inadequate to begin with. So far this week, at least 32 tornadoes have been reported across four states. Meteorologists say warmer temperatures in recent years are partially to blame for the growing number of winter twisters and could be pushing the infamous Tornado Alley farther east. This week's deadly southern storms, part of the major system pushing its way across the country and stretching all the way to Minnesota. Tonight, blizzard conditions are pummeling parts of the Dakotas. Storms there already dumping two feet of snow with more continuing to fall. All part of a dangerous and now deadly storm system that's not slowing down.